The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show, well, we're solving a basement water problem. We'll begin out at our project where homeowner Nancy Hallida explains why she selected Tri-State Basement Repair to take care of her home's basement water problem. Next, project manager Kyle Mellon explains what a homeowner should expect from a professional contractor during an initial walkthrough and how to best compare estimates. We then tackle the installation process and see firsthand how to solve this home's basement water problem. So we have a lot to cover today and we'll get started after these messages. One of the biggest fears shared by many homeowners is water in the basement. So on today's show, let's begin with our homeowner, Nancy Hallida, who decided to solve her basement water problem once and for all by installing an interior drain tile system. Well, Nancy, you must be very happy. The day has come to solve your basement water problem. I am totally excited. I was tired of having my basement wet for the past three years and it was getting worse. I plan to remodel it and make it into a living space. Oh, that's going to be nice. A lot of people have basement water problems. Tell me a little bit about your process of finding a solution to the problem. Well, I faithfully watch your show, Today's Home Remodeler. I watch it every Sunday. And so I saw one program with Tri-State. And I was like, I'm calling them because I know you are a good resource. So do you have any advice for a homeowner in a similar situation? Well, you should be an educated consumer and do your homework and find the right company that you feel comfortable with. I checked out several contractors and they gave me different price ranges and I came down to Tri-State. They're the best for the solution I need to have done. Well, great. Well, I'm sure you're going to be happy with it. I guess it takes about a day, day and a half to complete it, but then just think you'll never have to worry about water oh, again. I can't wait. Well, can't thank wait. you very much for allowing us to come and follow along in your process. You are welcome. Well, it's obvious that Nancy did her homework when selecting a contractor and is very confident in her decision. Now let's catch up with Kyle Mellon from Tri-State Basement Repair to learn more about this project and what a homeowner should expect from a professional basement waterproofing company. What you're looking at here, Stu, is the proposal that I left with Nancy a few weeks ago after looking around her basement, inspecting you know, the entire premises and making sure that the solution that we put forth is, is the proper solution. Uh, ultimately, I left with this, and what we're going to do is lay 134 linear feet of PVC drain tile, a subfloor. So we're going to jackhammer out all the way around the perimeter and, and lay this on the side of the footing. Yeah, that's a dirty, messy, hard-working job, isn't it? Well, it, it sure is, and I have a huge amount of respect for the crew that's downstairs doing that right now. And as I understand it, really, that's the best solution when a homeowner has a basement water problem. It really is. You know, there are a few other options that are out there, one of which, I mean, obviously is to do nothing, but if they want to get the basement taken care of and dry, it's really the only thing that's going to be effective. You can take some sort of a product, a mortar, uh, some sort of a sealant, and apply it to what we call the cove joint around where the floor and the wall come together. Sure. Uh, I've seen that done. It typically lasts less than a season. It's really a band-aid on the problem? It, it sure is. It sure is. The ground's constantly moving, which forces the walls and floors to move, and it'll open anything back up like well, that. Well, obviously on today's show, we want to follow along with the permanent solution, and that is the interior drain tile that your company provides. But before we get into the process itself, let's take a step back. As long before your crew gets here, there's an estimation process for mm -hmm. the homeowner. And let's just touch on what a homeowner should expect from a professional company. Well, they're going to expect a thorough inspection, that's for sure. You know, we're not going to come in with a, an idea in mind that we're going to try to sell the homeowner on. We're going to go down there and look at it and make sure what we're providing is absolutely what they need. And if they need other things on top of that, we're going to make sure that's included as well. Okay, so it's kind of a general overview of the property. You're assessing yeah. their situation and yeah. seeing what the, really what the source of the water is? Absolutely. What was it in this home? 
Well, it's coming up through the uh, the cove joint like we talked about. You see, the cove joint is the point of the foundation where the footing, the wall, and the floor all come together. Concrete's a wonderful thing, but one of the things that it, it is not is watertight when poured up against other concrete. So you got three separate pourings all coming together. It's the most vulnerable part of any foundation. And you know, as I look around here, it's kind of a low set area. Yeah. I know it's a heavy clay soil. The nature of a heavy clay soil is it sucks in that water, it expands, and then ultimately the pressure pushes the water into the basement. It sure does. You know, the water's got nowhere else to go. So it's looking for the weak spot. So a homeowner is educated, they research some different companies, the professionals come out. Is it a good idea for the homeowner to set aside some time and walk through it with you? It's critical, because they need to understand exactly what's going on with their foundation. You know, in the end, we're not just selling, you know, something to them. We want them to see exactly what's causing the problem. It's not something that, that can be just run through very quickly. You know, typically when we, when we sit down with a homeowner, it's going to take about two hours, start to finish. What should they ultimately expect as far as an estimate goes? Well, what we're going to do is provide a proposal, and this details everything that we're doing in the job. Uh, 134 linear feet of PVC waterproofing, and by the way, guaranteed against leakage for the life of the structure, including unlimited transfer of ownership. So, so we're really... Very good peace of mind with it. Absolutely. A half horsepower sump pump which is a good stout pump to install down there. Pump liner, uh, we've got several feet of buried discharge, freeze protector, pop-up emitter. We're gonna repair three cracks, uh, a couple using a smart crack process, and then another one using carbon fiber, um, which is the latest available. Sure, so it's really a full service solution to her basement water problems and, yeah. and really structural problems as well if there's a few cracks down there. Oh, absolutely. So when a homeowner receives the estimates, what's your advice on comparing them so that they really truly are comparing apples to apples? Well, you want to look at the type of drain tile that's being installed. We install what we believe to be the best in the industry, and that's PVC, which is far and away the most effective that can be installed. It's got a 3,000 pound crush rating, three inch wide tile that goes underneath the floor, uh, half inch wide holes all the way down both sides. So it's absolutely not going to clog up. You can look at the horsepower of the sump pump. We install half horsepower pumps, which is a pretty stout pump. Why is that important from a homeowner standpoint? Well, the system's only going to be able to keep up with as much water as the pump can pump out. If the pump can't keep up on a Noah's Ark type flood, and sure. you know, we know here in Wisconsin those will happen from time to time. You know, we'll get some serious rains and you've got to be able to get that water out. Sure, it makes sense. Okay, so it seems to me that you should sit down or a homeowner should sit down when they get their estimates and just go line by line, compare the quality of the products, make sure all the products are included in each bid. Yep. And I guess, you know, we always say be an educated consumer, but also be comfortable with your decision. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, in the end, that's, that's ultimately what it's all about. We strongly recommend that people who do business with us feel comfortable with us as a company and, and professionally. Well, it's no wonder you're so successful. I'm anxious to see the process. What do you say we head on downstairs and okay. see a solution to Nancy's problem? Sounds great. Let's do it. Stay tuned, we'll head to the basement next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler.